David Lindo and I'm here in Malaga, one of Spain's busiest tourist spots. But I'm not here to lie on the beach. I'm here to find birds. One of the things I love about urban birding is getting on top of a roof. And I'm here in Malaga, I'm on top of an amazing roof and I'm looking out to sea and I've seen the dawn. And what's interesting about being on roofs is that you get that elevation and you can see life erupting in the morning. This morning, I was watching gulls flying from where they were the night before across the city, making the shapes across the buildings, amazing. And also spotless starlings and collared doves flying to and fro. Down there, there's some trees that from above look like a woodland, but in fact, they're just trees in between the housing. Yet, I was hearing lots of greenfinches. They were roosting there, and it's such a wonderful sound. And plus, being on top of a roof, uh, especially during spring and autumn, you can witness migration. And this morning, I had a northern wheat ear standing on top of an aerial just around the corner from this building. That's absolutely incredible. But you can get on top of a roof anywhere in the world, in any city, and you could be surprised as to what you might actually get to see. I'm now in downtown Malaga, and all around me I can hear the rasping calls of monk parakeets just over by the harbour. But the reason why I'm here is because of this building. This is the cathedral. Uh, locally, it's known as the one-armed cathedral because there's only one tower. But on that tower, very often, could be a pair of peregrines. And what's interesting for me is that these peregrines are of the Mediterranean race. I don't see that at all from where I come from in Britain. The Mediterranean race, Brookii, is actually smaller it's a lot cleaner looking with a, a nice chestnutty chest and a blue back. It's a very beautiful looking bird. Right, I'm right here by the Roman theatre and I'm looking at that wall and I can't believe that I've actually found two rock dwelling species. I found black wheat here and also blue rock thrush. And earlier, two booted eagles flew over as well, right here in the center of Malaga. The great thing about urban birding for me is the fact that anything could turn up anywhere at any time. What you need to do is imagine the city you are in as being as part of the countryside. I'm right here in the centre of Malaga and there's tourists walking around. You can hear the guy playing the accordion. And around are a couple of trees here. It looks as if nothing could be happening. Listen and you'll hear house sparrows chirping. I've seen a few. But look through the trees and look at everything that moves and you might pick up stuff. This is migration time. I've just seen a male Sardinian warbler at the top of this tree. And also in, in the tree next to it, I've had a reed warbler. So it just shows you as I said before, anything can turn up anywhere at any time. So it's always worth looking, no matter where you are, for interesting birds. When I tell people that I watch birds in urban areas, some of them think I'm crazy. They can't believe that there's anything other than pigeons in a city. Well, in fact, cities are fantastic places and some of them are really good for conservation when it comes to birds. You see, birds come to cities often to use gardens and parks as resting, nesting and feeding areas. But to be an urban birder, I think there are two golden rules to follow. The first, always, always think to yourself, that anything can turn up anywhere at any time. The second rule is quite simple. Look up.
I am now at the highest point in Malaga. We're on the eastern edge of town. It's actually an Arab fortress. The name I can't pronounce, but it's a beautiful spot. People come here to enjoy the view, especially at this time of day when the sun is setting. The city looks fantastic. The whole area is surrounded by this really lovely pine woodland and the smell, ah, oh, it smells beautiful. Now, apart from some really obliging red squirrels, there's also plenty of good birds here. Crested tit, short-toed tree creeper being two, but also plenty of good finches like crossbill and serin. And during the winter, you can do a bit of sea watching and you can find some gannets as well as other seabirds. Great place to come to spend a bit of urban birding time when you're in Malaga. I've got a really good feeling about today. I think it's going to be a great day of birding. And I'm very excited too, because I'm meeting up with Malaga's very own urban birder, my good friend, Luis. And I'm hoping that he will show me a bird that's so rare and also a speciality of this area. Hola, Luis. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Fine, nice to see you. It's been a long time. Yes. This is a beautiful place. Yes, it's fantastic. Uh, it's my favorite place. For us living in Malaga, it's very comfortable, so close. The heights are very good. The birds are very close to you. That's good. What have you seen today? Well, I was uh, looking at a newly arrived uh, flock of uh, shovelers. The kingfisher was flying across the lake and uh, we've seen a Buddha eagle. Really? Yeah, they are very common in winter here. Okay. But today, he was being chased by a blackwing kite. No. And that's special here, yes. Really? Yes. Listen, I'm excited. Can I come birding with you? Oh, that'll be fantastic. Let's Magic. go. <laughs> I've just seen my first ever white-headed duck. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I can't believe it. Fantastic. had an incredible day here in Malaga. I've seen over a hundred species of birds. I've been to cafes, I've been on top of buildings, I've been to a reserve on the edge of town. It's been great. But the thing is you too can see just as many birds in your town or city. All you have to do is to become an urban explorer. And by that, I mean becoming an urban birder, going to different places that people never go to and finding those birds. And remember, to be an urban birder, all you have to do is look up. <laughs>